Hello, my jazzy junipers, and welcome to another juicy episode of Hegwain, with me, your host, Johnny McGovern. Today's episode is going to be jam-packed, honey. We do not have one guest today. We have two. You may have seen them on Hot Tea, The People's Couch, or listened to their angelic voices on their podcast, Dumb Gay Politics. They're dumb, gay, and two of my closest sissy besties. I'm talking about Julie Goldman and Brandy Howard here today. But before they skip on out here, there's a couple of skippers frolicking in the Hay Queen Surf. It's my emotional support orchestra, Adam Joseph and Erica Tor. Two drink minimum at this jazz club. What a great start. Um, guys, I have some very important news. There's been a police APB out for a weird looking woman who raided a toddler's bedroom of the bed sheets. And I think it's you, Erica. It's, it's romper room couture. What can I say? <laughs> yes, you went into that room and you romped the best bread. You turned it into a dress. <laughs> Uh, at least she didn't skin Cookie Monster. <laughs> oh Ooh. my God! I resemble that comment. <laughs> it's thank okay. You, thank you, JCRT. Thank you, JCRT. Muppet Couture. Yes. Yeah. Sweetie, it's all in the family today. We got, I got four of my best sissies in the whole world. These two and Julie and Brandy coming up right after this. So hit it. Emotional Support Orchestra. Sex of sex of pharmacy. Julie and Brandy are here. And we'll be back with my girls right after this very gay break. My guests today are two of the funniest people I know and ladies I love very much. Please welcome from the Dumb Gay Politics Podcast, Julie and Brandy. Sex of sex of pharmacy, Julie and Brandy are here. Yay! <laughs> Julie, thank you for waving to the non-existent <laughs> studio audience. <laughs> <laughs> Got you, you, you. Thank you for Oh my God. Look who's there. Exactly. That's crazy. You know how to do it. That is insane. <laughs> I'm like, is that your partner? <laughs> is that your partner? <laughs> <laughs> is that your partner you guys married? <laughs> Guess you don't have sex anywhere. <laughs> hey, military. <laughs> wow, we really were going to do, we're doing all the yeah, stand-up you know, Where's my law enforcement at? <laughs> oh, they're killing us! <laughs> um, uh, now, uh, audience, if you oh, don't right. know, Julie and Brandy, of course, you might know them mm. from their podcast, Dumb Gay Politics, or Bravo's The People's Couch, or Julie and I were long ago on a little show called Big Gay Sketch Show, <laughs> which you can't find anywhere. <laughs> Wow. But it did solidify our friendship. Love child. Our love child. Oh, our French, yes, French. our love child mm -hmm, yeah. who's living in oh, yeah. New Jersey yeah. somewhere. I mean, he's what? <laughs> God, he's old now. Yeah, yeah, he's getting older, our love child. I know. We might be great. I'm sure his career is killing it, too, by the way. No, no. I'm finally the stage mom. Yeah. Little Jajuli. That's yeah. what we named our love child. Jajuli. It's named after both of us. Erica and um, Adam, this is like a gay pay, gayest of all time reunion today. I couldn't be happier. Yeah. So excited. It's really exciting. <laughs> I'm so excited. I mean, how many years, like, even your podcast, like, we didn't, we got into oh podcasting because you're the king of podcasting. Yeah. Mm, yes. It's like a, That's true. It's a long, long, long time. Long, long, <laughs> long time. <laughs> together. I know it has. You guys started doing the podcast when I moved to Hollywood in 2010. So there's a wow. decade's worth of podcasts that you can find on iTunes with Adam, Erica, Julie, Brandy, and me. What a delight. Let's okay. talk about what you've been doing during the pandemic. That's fun. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, drugs <laughs> and alcohol. I'm an addict and gained 50 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you guys have become obsessed with game shows in the quarantine. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. I learned how to do a Rubik's Cube in three minutes. That was way after watching 
many, many, many tragic game shows. Now, the thing is that you, people might not know about Brandy is that when she puts her mind to doing something, <laughs> she'll do it. So when she was like, I want to learn how to Rubik's Cube, got the Rubik's Cube, bitch did it, just did it. Have you ever sat down to try doing Rubik's Cube? Yes, and it's impossible. <laughs> it's I change the stickers it. just to get it's it impossible. right. Impossible. <laughs> impossible, impossible. Yeah. Learned something, was able to do it, sitting there, we'd be writing or whatever, and she'd, she's boop, 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 and then, however, a couple weeks later, she's like, look. Oh, I saw the footage, sweetie. <laughs> I saw it. you do Done. it, and you did it quick. But that's only after doing 25 words or less. <sighs> Supermarket sweep. Love it. Jeopardy. I know you love Jeopardy and love the it. cunty beauty of Alex Trebek. I love it. I love him. Julie can really, if if she could just get on Jeopardy, she could really do well at Jeopardy. It's all, I, we've learned through this by the level that she goes in and is competitive <laughs> and is yelling every answer. <laughs> that it's, it's all about just really having like a good educated guess. Right. And the Jeopardy Parthenon! <laughs> <laughs> You know, it was the, it was the pantheon. Yeah. <laughs> so is that your dream game show, Jeopardy? Yeah. I mean, if for me, for her, yes. Because isn't that isn't that pin, the pinnacle, Jeopardy? It's like nobody thinks they can do it. Uh -huh. yeah. And even if I went negative, at least I'd have Alex Trebek being like, so what public bathroom do you use? You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> It'd be like that. And I would be like... Fine. <laughs> and there's yes. a whole Jeopardy world. It's like this guy Ken Jennings. Oh. You guys know Ken Jennings. Uh -huh, yeah. We uh. had no idea, and then we mm -hmm. we got opened up to Ken Jennings, and then at the end of like when they brought Jeopardy back, because it's back now, Ken Jennings is a producer on it now, and yep. we just felt like we felt like we did that too with the mm -hmm. podcast. Mm -hmm. We were like, "You're welcome, Ken. <laughs> You've won ten million dollars on Jeopardy, but it was really our exposure of Ken that." What we like to do is make other people's careers. Mm. <laughs> Fantastic. You know what I mean? Yes. And then, I do know what you mean. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> That's our favorite thing. I would like to go on Supermarket Sweep. Ooh, you yes. Would, you guys should go on together. Oh my, oh my God. God. Yeah. <laughs> if Jackie Beaton. Jerry can do it, so can we. Yes. Oh, don't make Julie start crying right now. <laughs> <laughs> we can would... totally do it. I'm, I know that I kn I'm great at shopping. We would be so good. <gasps> Nature's Valley. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Hunt's well, tomato sauce. Brillo, Brillo. <laughs> <laughs> Yogurt! You guys are running, throwing turkeys yes. into your thing. <laughs> oh my god. Julie, get the inflatable. <laughs> <laughs> On our game show audition sheets, they always say, say something surprising about yourself that no one would ever know. And Julie always writes, I'm a woman. <laughs> <laughs> and we have to we just... Sorry, is Butch Queen, first time in Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Julie and Brandy, it's time for you to raise your hands uh, in the air, sweeties, because we're about to go back in the time machine. Oh, no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> we're we're in two that. places at once, because there's two of you. Oh. oh, we're here in Lexington, Massachusetts on Ooh. this side, where little <laughs> Julie is lezzing around. Mm. And then over there, we're somewhere mysterious in Southern California, <laughs> yes. where, where yes. Brandy is just being a Beachy wave hair girl picking flowers. Now, uh, I kind of imagine what Julie was like as a child, but what was little Brandy like? Um, very bitchy, very rude. Same, <laughs> same, same. <laughs> I didn't like authority at all. I was, um, I did grow up in Southern California, and I was, um, you know, like forcing my mom to like drive me for like modeling auditions and stuff. <laughs> and my mom's like, oh, okay. And she'd have to drive me like an hour in LA. And then I went and I lived, you know, like abroad or whatever for a few months to do modeling. And then my parents moved to Texas when I was a senior in high school because they're terrible people. <laughs> and then so I finished high school and um, college in Texas. Where did you go abroad for modeling? Japan. You were a Japan model? <laughs> Oh, I can't believe I don't know this. And didn't get molested. <laughs> Thank Too goodness. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I lived there for three months when I was 15. Wow. Julie, did you also do modeling in That's Japan? That's where we met. <laughs> 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 That's where we met. I was, I was modeling in men's catalogs when yes, I was 15. fantastic. <laughs> yes. And Julie, you, you were a sporty child? <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. I was... I was <laughs> I was a bit of a tomboy. They, um, 
I had a nickname when I was playing soccer. They called me the Growler, and people were afraid of me. Wow. And the coaches would yell at their, I'll, this is the one thing I can hold on to for the rest of my life that I did well, which was then the coaches would yell at their team to get on to me. Get on the Growler. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow, yeah. can, you, can you give me a little of what the growl was like at the time? I think we've seen it. Uh -huh. I think, you know what I mean? Just like, <laughs> running down. Can you imagine this big thing running mm, down? The yes. I'm gonna fucking kill you! <laughs> <laughs> like release the Kraken. Yeah. <laughs> and Julie, what was your coming out like? When did you realize that you were born on the Isle of Lesbos? <laughs> uh, college, 19, and acting class. Mm. Really shone the light there. I had an uh, acting teacher named Richard Toma who was gay. And he was very, I don't know, he was very sexual. He was very s just in just, just sex. He was just sex. Uh -huh. And he would take his shirt off and sit down <laughs> in the class and just be, and he'd make us birth ourselves and fuck ourselves and do all this shit. <laughs> wow. And then he said, I'll never forget that he sat down on his knees, shirtless, fuzzy, you know. And he was like, I want to let you, I want to let you all know that I'm a faggot. Oh. And if any of you have a problem, get the fuck out of my class. Yes. And I was like, a <laughs> 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 oh, man after my own heart. Yeah, you're uh, like, me too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I didn't know what was going on with me, and I was like, oh. <laughs> this is it. At the end of that class, I came out. Wow. She always talks about that guy. Mm -hmm. I love him always. so much. God bless. Richard, I hope you're a hate queen watcher, sweetie. <laughs> yeah. And Brandy, what was your coming out process as a heterosexual? Uh, <laughs> I wasn't sure. I was like, am I? I don't know. It was a standard. I always lo like love. That's why I love my best friend growing up was a gay guy. And, I, and then even with, I always loved anyone gay because I was like, huh, how do you? How do you just think for yourself? <laughs> I never even thought that there was even a way, other way to think about it. And I know that it's just so impressive. Somebody's like, even especially my, and my best friend in high school was gay. And I was just like, and I mean, he was in the closet, but we knew. Mm -hmm. And it was like, how does he just do it? Like, he just knows. And then his brother had sex with my boyfriend in high school. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> great. It's great. That gave you gay points for life. That's right. Uh. Blaine, and you know who you are. Hello, children. You're welcome.